Rudhima, my colleague, also joining us on this broadcast. Rudhima, I believe you have more details uh, over this renaming controversy, the rationale behind this. Oh, absolutely, Poonam. It is now official. The Nehru Memorial Museum and Library Society has officially been renamed to the Prime Minister's Museum and Library Society. We're getting more details and the rationale why this renaming has happened. So we're understanding there was a special meeting that was presided by the Defence Minister, the Vice President of the Society. The Prime Minister, they're saying, in fact, had mooted up a similar idea way back in 2016. The Executive Council, the NMM, had its 162nd meeting, which was held on on the 25th of November in 2016 when this first idea was mooted and now the official renaming has happened. But this is the official rationale that in fact has been given. The Executive Council subsequently felt that the name of the institution should reflect the present activities which also now include a sangrale depicting the collective journey of democracy in independent India and highlighting the contribution of each Prime Minister in nation building. So they believe the focus should not be on just one Prime Minister but various Prime Minister that have presided over the country because that's what a democracy is all about. It further says the museum is a seamless blend which begins at the renovated and refurbished Nehru Museum building, now completely updated with technologically advanced displays on life. So that is the official renaming process that now stands completed, which has resulted into a political war of words where we just heard that reaction coming in from the Congress saying this is just petty politics and nothing more. It's just petty politics. It's... Uh out of vengeance is what uh, the Congress had come out and said. The government, they're making it very clear of why this move was undertaken in the first place. And like Sharon was also pointing out, this uh, renaming may have been notified right now, but this is not an overnight decision that has been taken. This debate has been going on since 2016 now. In fact, this was inaugurated in uh, 2022, the Museum for All uh, the Prime Ministers. This renaming is being done in line with those decisions that have been taken over the last few years. Also in the year that India marks 75 years of independence, which is why the government says this is an ode to all of the prime ministers, all of those who worked to make free India, the India that we live in today. Rhythma 